Yeah. Yes, we did it. We created our very first course, indeed. indeed. So what do you like most about the course? Uh, what, I, what I like is the fact that we managed to not just give tips and um, explain how to do certain things, that, but to focus more on the, the mindset parts and the parts uh, about the boundaries and how it is more um, a thing between your ears and, um, and yeah, that part. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What I like most you, is, yeah? is, is um, the fact that we are giving them different tools, like, yes, the mindsets, and then also uh, the tools on how to change your habits and your routines. I like that very much. And then um, the fact that we gave them uh, some steps to to put together their own action plan. So um, yeah, really enjoyed that. Yeah. Did did you expect before when we started a long time ago to put this together that that it would look like this? No, I didn't because. Um, I couldn't imagine what it would take to get all this knowledge and this experience that we gathered over the years, get it out of our heads and in a, a format that other people could um, see, read, hear. And I think we pretty much did that. So I'm, I'm really happy with that. What was your experience while uh, in the process of making this? Yeah, like you said, it's um, <laughs> it's so funny in your head. It's um, uh, you think um, a simple sentence, but there is so much more attached to it in in your head. And then the process of getting that whole concept onto yes. into the real world, <laughs> and 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 in an understandable way, because we have indeed this whole uh, thing going on in our heads and then putting the right words out there so that people can really understand and it's a coherent story. Um, that's a challenge. <laughs> when, when, you, when you say coherent, <laughs> yes. that, that's what I, I was thinking. Like, okay, so clearly English is not our mother tongue. <laughs> yeah, and I know I have a thick accent. And I pronounce words wrong, and then you said to if, to to help people understand. <laughs> that might be a challenge. Yeah, yeah, that might be. Um, yeah, but, but I think um, I think we managed to to get our message uh, across. I think we we um, we did what we wanted to do, and. Um, and, but it is still surprising because you start with a concept idea and then um, and it grows and it changes. And then what I like the most is diving into uh, specific parts and do some extra re research. Okay, we have our experience, but then having it backed up by um, scientific, um, uh, by those papers about uh, how to create a habit and uh, stuff like that. It was really, it was interesting. I, I really like doing those kind of things. So yeah. Yes, me too. And then sometimes uh, it's like the course wrote itself or parts of the course mm -hmm. wrote itself. And it was like fluently. And then other times it was um, a struggle. A struggle for some hours or days and then you start reading different things and then all of a sudden yes there it is and yeah i i really like that and then the last part they say uh, the the last bits are the hardest mm. or in dutch they say uh, the last the lotus week and it's last <laughs> yeah indeed that that's the case yeah <laughs> yeah and so why do you think people need to or need to want to uh, follow this course or uh, what is the benefit for people following this course? I think you can find a lot of information about working from home in a lot of blogs all over the place. Uh, but most of them, they, they, also, they always uh, stay with the, um, the practical uh, tips. 
And we managed to focus also on uh, people like us, the people who are multipotentialized, visual, spatial, high sensitive, gifted. Those people who have always a lot of things going on in their heads, in their lives, a lot of interests. And yeah, I must say, I'm really proud of ourselves that we managed to stick with this subject. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's yeah, an accomplishment. Did. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I did. And yeah. especially with all the other ideas we have coming for, for, for other masterminds, for other things to start. Um, yeah, it's, um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, and you? Well, I, I, it's like you said, um, most uh, things you find out there about working remotely um, is about the, the really, really practical things. And we have some of that, but just a little bit. But it's, um, we started from uh, your own perspective and uh, not from the perspective of the um, of the employer, but uh, it's about you and how you feel and what would make you thrive when working at home and how to um, use your potential with everything that is going on. Certainly now, when uh, your home office is more likely a co-working space uh, because of everything that's going on in the world. So um, I think we managed to focus on um, the, the personal perspective and starting from yourself and um, looking at it uh, as a as a whole and and just tweaking some things so that uh, yeah you can have the best experience possible. Yeah. Okay. That sounded great. <laughs> okay. So shall we wrap up? Yeah. We yeah. Good yeah. idea. So it was nice talking to you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Talk to you soon. Bye. Yes. Bye.